Okay, so we're here in this uh, REPL.IT and we're coding C in the browser, okay? Um, we've set up the, um, the interface here so that we have our um, uh, um, shell down below. I like to just use a regular shell. I don't know why that is. So right click command palette, open shell. Okay. Uh, and then we kind of get our regular shell here. So um, uh, notice that we, this is running uh, Ubuntu, which is just standard Linux, which is really fantastic. Uh, so we can basically do a lot of the things that we can do in, in uh, Ubuntu in this browser-based editor. Okay, so let's take a look at what we have here. So we have this, when we do a new C file uh, in this REPL.IT, basically it gives us this uh, hello world. So let's talk about what's here in the hello world. So we have include standard.h, standard.io.h. Okay, so that's what comes first in the C file. Okay, so we have our includes. The only thing that might come first before that is a comment. So comments here, multi-line comments are forward slash star, and then star, sorry, star forward slash. Uh, and we're gonna put our name here, uh, just so we know what this is by. And the date. Okay, and then we have our int void main. Okay, so we have our return value for our main function, and that corresponds to return of zero. This is just, um, it's just style. You know, it's basically tradition for C programs to do this. Um, we have the name of the function, which is main, and we have the um, parameter that it's bringing in. Void just means nothing. It's a good placeholder. We don't really have to have it if we don't want, uh, but we're gonna leave it there for now, okay? So we have the return type for the function, which is an integer, which is int. We have the name of the function. We have the parameters that are coming into the function inside parentheses. And then we have the, the curly braces for the code block of the function. This is my preferred way to do it. I put it on lines like this. So open curly brace, close curly brace. So the function, so the main functions code block is between lines seven and 10 here, okay? Inside the code block, we have two commands. One is print F and then hello world, okay, with our um, return, um, with our new line character and then return zero. Okay, so that's our hello world command. Um, when a C program runs, it immediately, the first thing it does is look for the function named main and runs that function. So you must have a function named main in a C program. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. So we're gonna go down to our, our um, uh, shell and we're gonna go ahead and we have to compile it first and then run it. So we're gonna go, um, let's take a look at what files we have here first. So in our folder right now, we have main.c that we're working on and we also have main, which is the executable. Okay, so we're gonna remake main every time we want. If we change our source code, we have to recompile our executable and then run the executable. So we're gonna type gcc space main.c and then dash o for the output so we're saying hey run the program run the program called main.c main.c needs to know hey which file which file am i compiling it's main well it's main.c we tell it and then we then we also have to say you know we can just compile main.c without doing anything right but that doesn't really so in here it created a dot out right okay that's kind of the default file okay but if we wanted to do something else we have to do dash o we have to tell it, hey, put it in a file name, main. Okay, so we recreated main uh, with our new code. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and run it. And how you run it is you go dot, so period, forward slash, and then the name of your executable. So, okay, and it runs. And lo and behold, it prints out hello world. Okay, so that's an introduction to uh, C and a hello world program. Uh, notice that it has these three, you know, it has some uh, different things that we talked about. Okay, so it has our include for standard.io. That includes the code. That allows us to, to print out to the, um, the uh, console. Okay, remember that it has a main, a function named main. It must have that. And it, traditionally, the return type of main is int, and we return a zero at the end of main. Okay, best of luck.